Hey everybody, I um, wanted to do this uh, quick video on uh, plumbing, plumbing fixtures and plumbing calculations um, to try to help answer a question. I actually posted uh, several times uh, this question on uh, Revit City under systems on the forums and uh, I didn't get a response uh, so I'm going to go out to the YouTube community and maybe somebody out here can can help me. Um, and at the same time, I wanted to uh, bring out a couple of uh, tips here. Um, one is uh, I found uh, this uh, on Watts.com, which is a big plumbing supplying company, probably nationwide. Uh, they have Revit drawings. If you search around in their in their uh, in their uh, uh, website, Watts.com, I believe it is, or WattsPlumbing.com, uh, pretty easy to find on Google they have a lot of stuff for Revit plumbing that actually are made for systems for instance um, uh, let me see if I can go 3D here uh, I inserted this uh, ball valve right here and this ball valve was actually uh, downloaded from Watts uh, so uh, hats off to Watts for making these great uh, devices uh, for instance also this um, here uh, it's green because it's a uh, sanitary system this is actually downloaded from watts this uh, floor sink uh, and I use these all the time for plans um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll load another thing from watts uh, if I can get it back into the uh, plumbing system here just to show you guys um, let's see uh, component yeah right here I wanted to uh, show you this this is a backflow device so I'm putting this backflow device, uh, let me make sure it's lined up by using the alignment tool. Okay, so everything looks good. And I'll just drag this pipe right there. And I downloaded this, um, actually it, it wasn't the right height, so it, it, it put an elbow in there to connect. So and if I want to uh, right click on this and, and draw pipe, I can continue my pipe like that. So there's a backflow device that I downloaded from Watts, and they have them in all sizes, just about. Uh, Revit out of the box does not have a ball valve that is a uh, half inch or three quarter inch. I think this is a three quarter inch. Um, so they have those available that actually work, and I proved it because a lot of times when people make stuff like that, they don't make them properly where the flow goes through. So if I, if I actually uh, um, Let's see, I'll delete this and I will uh, put annotate another um, and there it is. So, you know, it, it's calculating the flow all the way through, which is really nice. Um, now, this is the question I had for my plumbing system is that uh, what I did is uh, I indicated uh, on this call out here to show the fixture units uh, and the gallons per minute which is the demand basically and it's showing 21.6 uh, fixture units so that could be changed uh, if your code uh, does not recognize uh, or shall uh, you know if I were to change the fixture units on this water closet to be uh, which is 2.5 in California it might be something different for the international plumbing code and then you have um, you know some urinals and they might be flush valve or whatever the case may be which would uh, definitely change the fixture units but uh, just for talk sake this is 21.6 uh, uh, fixture units and I have a demand of 36 GPM and that's um, in in all cases under the International Plumbing Code and California Plumbing Code. Basically, it's a scale. Uh, you're 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 given uh, the um, the amount of gallons per minute on a scale that they provide you because of the fact that uh, uh, they don't really hit you with all the units because there's a coincidental factor that not all of them are going to be running at the same time. So. Uh, the demand here is 36 point uh, or actually 20 36 gallons per minute now if I were to um, show you where they get this calculation from if I can remember exactly where it's from 
it's actually from a table called uh, it's from the International uh, Plumbing Code and it's table uh, it's right here uh, uh, table uh, E103.3 uh, and this is the uh, estimating demand for your fixture units versus your your water demand. So let me let me collapse this real quick, and I'll show you where that information is. Uh, if I were to go to, uh, I think it's under analyze uh, settings. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's under MEP settings under the mechanical. And I will get this dialog box here called mechanical settings. And down here at the bottom under pipe settings, there'll be a calculation. And basically the pressure drop calculation formula is uh, right here. And if I were to go to flow, uh, basically all it says here is that the method converts from fixture units to uh, volumetric flow using values found in the 2012 International Plumbing Code E103.3 with the parentheses of three. Uh, the flow conversion method is specified, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that, that's where, where you get the information from. So let me pull up that chart, and uh, here's the chart. And uh, if I were to show you, uh, this is 21.6 uh, fixture units and uh, 36 GPM. So if I go to 21, let me, uh, uh, if I go to 21, which is right here at 20, you will see that it says 35 gallons per minute. So Revit is spot on with this calculation. And the reason is, is because it's 21.6 and 21.6 would default to 36 GPM in the scale. So the curve, that is perfect. But the only thing is, is this calculation is on this side of this of this uh, um, table under under uh, flush meter valves. So if there's flush meter valves in, involved in your plumbing system, then this side of the table, which would be the right, and you know, show this, this side right here would be the side that you use. But if you're using, um, like in a residential case where there is no flush valves, you would use the left side of this chart which would be right on this side so there's no way that I found that you can change this calculation uh, from the left side of the table to the right side of the table so that was my question for everybody out there that might have an answer for me is there a way to change it or am I stuck with just the right side of the of this table um, and then uh, let's see so that's uh, what I wanted to point out to you is uh, where these really cool uh, fittings, you can find them. You can find uh, uh, floor sinks, floor drains, uh, uh, all types of valves, all types of control valves on watts.com or wattsplumbing.com or whatever it is. Uh, the, 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 and uh, 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 that's the tip I wanted to give you guys. Um, and. Uh, so I'll hear back from you guys uh, in the in the YouTube community about maybe having an answer for me. If not, I just have to deal with this uh, 36 uh, gallons per minute. Thanks, everybody.